Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Janet and I run a Depop, a website called Primary Studios where I sell secondhand and vintage fashion. In today's video, I'm doing Rage Speed's 333 challenge or 3x3 challenge, I think. And it is something that popped up on Instagram or TikTok and it's basically where you have three tops, three bottoms, and three shoes and you try to make as many outfits as you can with that. So in a way, it's kind of creating a mini capsule wardrobe. I know a lot of people like to do this or preparing for trips or just like seeing how many outfits they can make with a smaller selection of clothing. So I picked a few things from my shop that I thought would work. The shoes are just my personal shoes, but the actual garments are from my shop. So if you're interested in them, then you can also check them out on my website as well. Without further ado, let me start introducing the items that I will be styling today. So these three pieces are the tops that I want to do for the styling challenge. And the first one is this brown silk men's button down and it's by the brand Lutar. I've noticed that in a lot of Rage Speed's videos for her capsule wardrobe 3x3 challenge is that she does a lot of button downs and that makes a lot of sense because they are very versatile pieces where you can style them open, closed, thrown over the shoulder. So I thought that was a good idea just to keep it more versatile and easy to style. The next item I chose for this is also a men's top and it is this Raglan style baseball tee in a black and white. It's a bit more casual and I think it's good to have a mix of more casual and more put together pieces. The final item for my tops is this leather vest and it's kind of like a very lightweight suede material. Now it's time to move on to the bottoms that I chose for this challenge and the first one is this cream pair of jeans but they're more of like a trouser cut. They have these slant pockets on the side, pleats in the front. Then I also picked these Levi's jeans. These are technically a men's fit in a style 550, waist 33, length 30. They are vintage 90s, so they have this really nice wash to them. This one is like a wide, wide leg, and then this one is a more straight leg. And this one has the pleats, this one is a different color, so I think it added a bit of variety to the selection. And finally, you might have seen it showing you the other items. It is this black twirly skirt. I just feel like skirts are a good way to change up the silhouette of an outfit. So let's talk about shoes. So the first pair that I'm going to be styling are these loafers from Solovair, and they are just like a very classic look. The next pair of shoes that I'm using for this challenge are these kind of square toe sling back flats. It is a little more dainty and ladylike, which I think contrasts with the more masculine look of the first pair of shoes. My final pick for shoes are these Onisuka Tigers. I don't actually remember the style name, but I'll put them up on the screen. So now that I have introduced you to all the items for this capsule, let's get started with styling. So when I style items for my daily outfits, I usually start with pants. And so I'm going to do the same for this video. And the first pants I'm going to wear are these high rise kind of pleated cream jeans. I am leaning towards putting the button down with it first. Here is the belt from Uniqlo. I just feel like it's a really nice classic belt. It's very unobtrusive and it just works with pretty much any pair of pants. Because this outfit is leaning a little bit more masculine, I want to add a feminine touch to it. So I'm going to add the ballet flats. To add a little bit of like a classic touch, I'm going to go with this black shoulder bag. This is the first outfit. Now let's try to build from here and to make a second outfit that is still using the same elements but in a different way to make it look new. And I think the most obvious way right now would be to button it up and tuck it in. I've basically been leaning into the untucked looks a lot more than I usually would be and I do feel like it adds kind of a sense of ease to it. This one doesn't have a lot of shape but I do think that's fine. What I'm going to do to make it look a little bit more proportional is to fold up the sleeves. So there is the cuffed but I do think it's a little bit too long like it's proportionally it looks a little off so I think I'm gonna unbutton the bottom too. I think just tucking in one side. I do think we need to change the shoes for a different vibe and I'm going to go with the black solar bear so let's do that. A good addition to this outfit would be to add this hat right here because it brings a different element in, a different color and I think this will help differentiate this outfit from the previous one. I decided to add on this bag as well. I feel like this kind of will help bring in different elements together. It has a brown from the top and the cream from the bottom and the cream from the hat as well. So this is the second outfit. I still want to do this button down and this pant combination. So I want to do another one of my favorite ways to wear button downs, which is just to have the top button buttoned. I think that's really cute too. And then you can see a peak of the necklace that I'm wearing underneath as well. And honestly, I don't know what else to do to change this outfit. 
Should I cut the pants? I could cut the pants. Okay, that did change a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty cute. I don't know if this will count as outfit three, but I'm gonna say this is my third outfit. Let's go to outfit four. And this is actually a way that I do wear my tops. I know not everyone does, but I always love the look of this. It's a different look, and I'm going to change my shoes to, I think, the sneakers. So there is outfit four now. I think now we're going to move into the second top, which is this vest right here. So this is the outfit with this. I don't think these shoes match. So I'm gonna go back to the black loafers. And just for a little point of difference, I'm going to add the cap. Here is outfit five. Now I'm gonna to try to change the silhouette by doing the usual buttoning it up and maybe tucking it in. The jeans to the original position. And then I'm going to add the flats. This bag will kind of help tie the look together. So that is, I think, outfit six. I am bringing back the brown button down because I think that this will add a different element. I didn't think about this before, but you can combine two of the tops together. I think maybe just proportionally because it kind of looked like my torso looks really long with this ending here and then this going all the way down here. I'm just gonna tuck the vest back in. Everything is so oversized that I don't want to lose the shape. Pulled up the sleeves. That's outfit seven. Actually, let's add outfit seven. Now we can do another layering where I just put this on top. So let's go do that. Now I'm going to just button up this as well so we can get kind of like, almost looks like a weird tuxedo. I'm not sure if I love this outfit, but it does look different. I think I'm going to just change back into the loafers. It just matches the fit better. You want to come in, Tuffy? Okay. That is the fifth, no, eighth outfit, I think. Outfit eight. Here's the next top with the outfit is the baseball tee. And honestly, this is just a fit by itself. Very simple and laid back, but I do think the casualness of the outfit kind of works together. And the Oxford makes the outfit look a little bit more dressed up. So outfit nine. Now it is outfit 10 that I'm working on and I have tucked in the shirt. So that does look different, but uh, not significantly so. I think maybe I need to do a change of shoes. The shoes. I'm kind of debating whether I should add the beanie or not, but maybe I'll add the crossbody instead to give a different vibe. This is outfit 10. I just added the vest on top, so this is outfit 11. And it, surprisingly, I thought it wouldn't work, but I think because the raglan sleeves are black and this vest is black, it almost looks like I'm wearing a jacket that's black with a white shirt. So it does make the outfit look different. This is outfit 11. Now we are moving on to the next pair of bottoms. So this is like a, I feel like just changing the bottoms changes the whole vibe of an outfit. Uh, honestly, I think even like this can work, but I do feel like the ballerina flats are a little, a little random looking with this. So I want to go with the sneakers for this one. So this is the outfit as is. I feel like just like this, I kind of feel like a skater. I'm gonna go with maybe both the beanie and the sling bag. I think the beanie is a little much with this, so I'm gonna take that out. Yeah, this is outfits, I think 12. I tucked in the top and I added the beanie and I do think that the tuck makes the beanie look less intense. I'm not really sure why, but it just does. So I'm just gonna change the shoes out for the loafers because I do think that the fanciness or the more like businessy look of them will help contrast with the more laid back look of just like a t-shirt and jeans. It's kind of interesting, I think I'll keep it. So this is outfit 13. Took off the beanie, added the button down. Let me untuck the shirt. Just feel like that kind of, that vibe works better. And then I'll cuff the sleeve and switch to the flats because I do feel a little bit of skin at the top. Let me add this hat to kind of tie in the denim as well. Or should I tuck in the top? Okay, that's good. Outfit 14, I'm pretty sure. Just gonna do the same old thing as before. Now it's buttoned and tucked in. 
And I think I also want to wear this vest. I don't know why, but I know this is pretty much the same outfit as before, just with different pants. But just having blue jeans does add a different look to it. I'm gonna change into the loafers. Outfit 15. Okay, as I was changing, I just unbuttoned the top and I realized it kind of looks interesting to have it tucked in but unbuttoned. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I also cuffed the bottoms right here to change the silhouette of the pants a little bit. And then I added this bag to kind of give an element of casualness. So this is outfit 16. I just switched into just wearing the vest. Oh, let me add. I'm going to switch into the flats. Outfit 17. Now we are on to styling the skirt. It is super flowy and really nice. I like the length on it as well. It's not like a mini mini, but it's not really long. I feel like wearing the vest open kind of adds a different element to the look. It makes it more casual and easy. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I feel like the belay flats are a little bit too matchy-matchy with the vibe of the skirt. So I'm going to mix it up by wearing the loafers. Because there's too much black in the outfit already, I'm just going to go for the messenger bag. So this is outfit, I think, 18. This is outfit 19, and I'm thinking I'm going to wear this button down, but because I want it to kind of tuck in nicely, I'm thinking I'm just going to like hold the tails and like tuck it in. Crossed. I don't know if that will look weird. I haven't tried it before, but that's interesting. Okay, I like that. Because the skirt is a little bit longer, I don't want the silhouette to be lost. And then I do think this needs the flat. I don't know why, but this shoe just feels a little bit too heavy for the look. This is my crossbody bag, so this is outfit 19. And I think this could technically be considered an outfit, but I just, I'm not feeling the vibe on this one. So technically outfit 20, but I'm not going to include it. Something about this with the skirt, I don't think works. I don't know if I'd actually wear an outfit like this out, but this is another way to style it. But I'm just not going to include it as well because I'm not like in love with it. The top and the skirt don't really work together. But maybe let's switch things up a little bit to see if I can make it work. Loafers. That looks a little bit better, maybe, to just casualify it. The messenger bag again, and I think this will be my last outfit. No, not this bag. I think that's it, outfit 21. How did you guys think I did? Looking back on it, I feel like I probably should have switched out the skirt, maybe, or added like a bright color somewhere in there. Maybe I should have added a few more fitted things just to change up the silhouette, but overall, I was surprised I was able to get, I think, 21 outfits out of this. I am pleased, and I think it actually really taught me a lot about how to style different things with a limited wardrobe. I will probably do another one in the future if you guys like this video, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.